Welcome builders, Andy is your here. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be an Iron Age hill fort. So I needed the hill and this is the hill I chose. Um, not much of a hill. Well, it's a bit of a hill in one bit, but I needed to just kind of just, I don't know, landscape it. <laughs> Make it flat on top. Kind of a plateau with a hill all around. Nice and defensive Iron Age hill fort. Now, if you're wondering exactly what an Iron Age hill fort is in the United Kingdom or Britain as it would have been back then, couple of thousand years ago, this is what an Iron Age hill fort would have looked like. A succession of hills surrounding it, maybe a moat, kind of a bridge, a gate, lots of little roundhouses, places for the chickens, a nice big gate, kind of a defensive, maybe a kind of a status symbol, the walls and the gate and the hills. Anyway, definitely well defended. Uh, you'd have your cattle, your sheep, your pigs, whatever, and your farms, your wells, your fires, and you process animals and even maybe have some totem poles. So. That's the inspiration, that's the history behind it, and now we've got to build it. And I had some pretty cool builders on my server help me build this today, so big shout out and thank you to them. First of all, for the wall, Colonel Fetters. If you remember Colonel Fetters, he is the guy behind the uh, Norman uh, Castle Tower House that I just built on my channel. He came up with this kind of wall design for his Moat and Bailey Castle, which I showed in that video, and I love this wall design. So we built this wall, very simple, just spruce wood and oak wood all the way around different kind of levels and that tops off my defensive hill fort to start with right gonna slow right down here and show you kind of a, a defensive lookout tower as well and you can follow along and build this block by block first of all just a couple of slabs there um, to give us kind of a platform but this is the thing to look out for these uprights these um, dark oak, I think it is, uprights. There are five, there's five blocks between them lengthways and three, <clears throat> three blocks between them uh, widthways. Don't worry too much about the platform, just make that up down below, it really doesn't matter. So that is the dimensions, five between the uprights lengthways and three between them uh, widthways. And that's all you've got to remember. doesn't matter what height you make them, it is entirely up to you gonna have this upright come up here in oak wood and that's gonna be for the ladder to get up to the top upside down spruce wood stairs like that and then some logs sitting right on top easy peasy to start with and then zip up the ends as well with some more logs come on Yoda that's it and then we're gonna go back to spruce wood stairs upright Spruce wood stairs upright. No, spruce wood stairs upside down is what I meant to do. So I've put two on that side. Now two on this side there and there. Kind of in the middle, sort of. And then I'm going to put little corners on. It's just three upside down stairs wrapping around each corner. You can really see it on that last one I did there. Three upside down spruce wood stairs wrapping around each corner. And then get a block of spruce wood planks or whatever wood you have handy. It doesn't matter what you make this out of. And these go in the little gaps like that and then in between those gaps put in some more upside down spruce wood stairs and on the ends exactly same thing on the other side so that's the long sides kind of taken care of now we're on to the short sides four spruce wood plank blocks in the corners dead easy that stage and then we're going to have upside down spruce wood stairs there and there, block, block, and then more upside down spruce wood stairs there and there. And there you go. That's pretty much this whole thing done. I'm doing exactly the same on the other side. And let's, the camera's getting kind of close there, Andy, kind of close. Um, we're going to put some corners on like that and some middle blocks on the short ends. And then this is kind of genius. By the way, this tower, this defensive tower, this is also Colonel Fetters. It's his design as well for this defensive tower. I meant to shout that out, got kind of carried away telling you how to build it. A couple more blocks there and there. So Colonel Fetters, inspiration, what a builder. Amazing, amazing player on my server. Okay, so the camera's going kind of squint here. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to reshoot this. <laughs> this is definitely a mistake. I'm sorry. Oh, there's a river. 
Um, nice scenery. Look at the sheep. Ooh. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I think I filled in uh, that not too badly. Some upright fence posts and you are good to go. And that was really um, our job for the next half hour was to build, get the gang back again. They helped me with the wall and they helped me to build more of these towers exactly the same. We decided to put some uh, flags on them as well and the flags are all facing the same way, kind of blowing the same way in the wind. So just spam these towers around. I think we ended up with about six or seven of them at the end, all around the top of the hill fort and it really starts to give some atmosphere and it looks really, really cool at this point. Teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, down here we made an extra big platform and I really like the way this looked. We built kind of a little mini barracks for the troops that might be defending and some stairs upright and I thought that looked absolutely splendid. Cool, <laughs> okay. Uh, next we're on to uh, a way of getting in and out because that would be handy, right? So we wanted to build a nice big gatehouse. So I just said to the guys, look, build a gatehouse. <laughs> And they did. We built a path and the gatehouse. The gatehouse is very similar to the watchtowers as well. Again, with a little bit of a flag and some nice Trapidorus Maximus for the doors. And that was that. Now, I'm slapping down some roundhouses. And if you want to build one of these roundhouses, I have, guess what? A tutorial on these roundhouses. You, that's right, you can follow it block by block, inside and out, for these cool little roundhouses. Well, actually, pretty big roundhouses. Lots of space inside for the entire family. Lots of little paths going on as well in between. The paths are just simply made of path block and andesite and gravel and coarse dirt and podzol, whatever you want to slap down for a path. Now we're putting in some details. Um, got some kind of animal preparation areas. And I'm going to take you in a few minutes uh, slowly through the village uh, or hill fort, um, block by, not block by block, but it's going to be in third person and kind of tour about and show you the details in, in, in detail. Yeah. Um, anyway, this is a roundhouse. I'm not entirely happy with the roundhouse. I often, I think this roundhouse is a little bit, not roundhouse, it's a longhouse. <laughs> I've done the roundhouses, this is a longhouse. And I wasn't happy with the longhouse because it's kind of a short longhouse and that's no good. Um, so I think I might do another video on longhouses, maybe um, Viking longhouses, and then slap that into this place because that's, that's too short for longhouses. Anyway, those little um, birchy wood things are chicken coops. I thought they looked really good. Somewhere to keep your chickens safe from all the foxes which might come along. Ooh, this is a midden heap. Now, a midden heap in Iron Age times, olden times, basically, was a big rubbish heap. And archaeologists love them because you can find all sorts of evidence about what life was like back then a days in the midden heap or big rubbish heap so I thought we'd make a big rubbish heap. Big rubbish heaps I'll give you a good view of that in a wee while as well. Great fun to make. You just pile any old blocks that you've got, any old rubbish in your inventory and stick it in a big pile. <laughs> Job done. Okay um, now put some trees. I've got some custom trees which I can just slap anywhere in my server and here is a little totem pole which I thought would be very good kind of where you make your worships or sacrifices to the gods. Anyway, thank you so much to all the helpers. Here they are, <laughs> derps. And yeah, they are weirdos, but there they are in slow motion. <laughs> thank you very much to all them. They know who they are. And if you don't know who they are, here are their names. We had Brosor and Owlhat and Trempion and Shula and Arrested Rogue 89 and Hamster Girl and, and Nicola and King Minecraft, which is quite a funny name. Okay, here we go. The sun is just coming up. We can have a look at the hill fort. So here we go through the door that we created. I love this. This is really cool. The guys did a great job. I just give them practically no instructions. I just said, build a... Look, they've even made a little step up to it as well. Cool. Okay, um, so as the sun comes up, we've got a, a well as well. Uh, a place to kill your chickens. Yes, love that. Uh, a chicken coop with chickens in it. <laughs> uh, totem pole. Um, here's the midden heap. This is the rubbish heap. We've even got cakes. Man, I would not... I would love... I remember when I was a teacher and there was like the school lunches and then uh, you had this teacher called uh, Mr. Harper and um, you know that, that big trash can where everyone dumps their food that they don't want? He put his hand in there and he pulled out half a quiche and ate it and we all thought that was the grossest thing we'd ever seen but I, it was really funny at the same time. Anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you that story because look, we've got a little barracks here. The guys have even kitted it out inside and even though they did that, it's kind of really neat how that works out actually. Wow, I love that design. 
Mmm, I didn't even know that was so good inside there. So well done to them. I don't know what that is. Is this the kind of the training things for their army? This is how they train, right? And then this is the round houses. If you haven't seen the round house on my channel, Iron House, Iron Age Round House. We've got some barrels of water outside, which is pretty cool with doors. And then on the inside here, this is the, the regular, it's kind of dark up here, but the regular round house. I'm not gonna go too much into detail on the round houses because they are a separate video on my channel. Plug, plug, plug. And um, got some horses escaping, got some little farms, some big twees and more chicken coops. And this place is kind of coming alive. I love my hill for it, really pleased. And thank you so much to all the builders that helped me. And here is, this is where you would skin an animal. So that's the animal hanging up and you, you cut it open to get its guts out. And it's, yeah, okay, enough of making your audience puke, Andy. Moving on, we have, um, what else do I have to show you? I think that's pretty much it. Some nice trees over here. Guys, I'm not gonna keep you much longer. Hopefully you got some inspiration, that's the, aim of my channel to give you guys inspiration and to get you building in minecraft thank you so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already oh someone's put a little bit of red glass on it that is kind of gross but i love it it's kind of details i relish thank you again for watching ciao ciao when the blocks be with you